How's it going folks? I'm Des with DesFit and today I'm out here to give you a quick demonstration of how these ski and snowboard activity profiles work on a course Vertex as well as a course Apex Pro. The ski and snowboard activity profiles, they track all the normal stuff that you'd want to track for an outdoor activity like speed, distance, as well as elevation, but it's also able to automatically track all your laps without you having to press the lap key or anything like that. And how it does this is it uses the altimeter to determine when you're ascending on the chairlift and when you're descending on the ski run. And of course, all this information is going to be available for you to upload to Strava. So you can start the activity when you're about to ride up your first chair. The first data screen that you'll see is your current lap information, but notice that the lap is actually paused as you're ascending, so it's not recording the lift time in your first lap. And then when you get off the chairlift and start descending, it'll detect that you're going downhill, and the watch will provide an alert with a vibration letting you know that it detected that you're descending. And the vibration is really strong, and I could even feel it through my jacket. It then also switches from the black background to a white background, which makes it easy to distinguish that you're going downhill, and all you do at that point is start making some sweet turns. When you get to the bottom of the hill, you'll be able to see that lap information, including the time, distance, speed, vertical drop or descent, max speed on that lap, and then the total time elapsed. And then when you get back on the lift, it detects that you're ascending and you'll again get a little alert, but this time that the downhill is finished and it also shows which lap you're on. And then it proceeds to the rest screen where you can view your last lap information. But there's also additional data screens. So the first screen are the total so far, including your total downhill time, downhill distance, average speed, total vertical drop, and max speed for the day. And then you can also view your current speed, grade, elevation, heart rate, lengths or laps, and then time of day. And then when you're done with your activity and then hit save, it'll have a nice summary screen showing your total distance, ski time, max speed, average speed, a nice looking elevation graph, laps or runs, calories burned, and your downhill time. And then in the app, you'll be able to see all this information where it gives a pretty solid breakdown of all the stats, including a lot of the detail for each of the runs, and it even identifies your best lap if you want to know how well you're doing on a specific run. You'll also be able to set up different alerts for the ski and snowboard profiles, including distance alerts as well as heart rate alerts. And if for some reason you want to turn off the automatic detection, you can also do that and then just use the lap button to manually trigger the laps. So you may have noticed that I was wearing the watch on the outside of my jacket so I could view the information a bit easier. The stock watch strap on the Vertex Icebreaker is pretty long and I was able to get it around my jacket, but just barely. It obviously won't be able to measure heart rate on the wrist, of course, if you're wearing it on the outside of your jacket. So if you want to collect heart rate, you can just pair it with an external heart rate strap. And I tested this with the Vertex as well as the Apex Pro, and this is also available for the regular Apex, but these profiles aren't currently available on the Pace 2. Anyhow, that's just a quick little demonstration of how these ski and snowboard profiles work on a course Vertex or Apex Pro. And if you found this information in this video useful, make sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for plenty more sports tech videos that are coming soon. In the meantime, have fun out there and we will see you in the next video.